Hello and welcome to myminimaths.co.uk video tutorials and today we're going to be adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers and so on to question one which is six tenths and we're going to subtract take away one third now as we've looked at previously we need to make sure that these two denominators are the same number now an easy way to do that is we can just multiply them so we have a common denominator of 30 or we can look at working out the multiples of each number so we have 10 20 30 40 and so on and then for 3 we can have one lot of 3 two lots of 3 three lots of 3 and so on all the way down and eventually we will arrive at a lowest common multiple. Now as you can see this takes much longer. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't take so long uh, and, but it is something to bear in mind because you may need to use this method when the numbers are much harder and it's not so clear uh, which number to use. <clears throat> as it happens we're going to use this 30 here. So, what did I do? So these are just equivalent fractions now. So what did I do to 10 to get to 30? Well, I've multiplied it by three. I need to do exactly the same with the top as well, which gives me 18 for my numerator. What did I do to this three to get to 30 down here? Well, I multiplied it by 10. So I've got to do exactly the same with my numerator. So one lot of 10, of course, is 10. And I'm going to subtract, so 18 thirtieths, subtract 10 thirtieths, give me, it gives me an answer of 8 over 30. You could also write this in its simplest form as 4 over 15. Either answer is acceptable. And next we're on to question 2, which is 4 sixths. This time we're going to be adding, so finding the sum of these two fractions, we're going to add one fifth to four sixths. Now again, we have a choice on how we're going to find our common denominator here, but I think for, for this question, it's straightforward enough just to multiply them. So again, we're going to be looking at a common multiple of 30. We're going to be adding them. And then we're going to look at how we've changed our fractions into our new fractions. So these are equivalent fractions. They have identical values. So what have I done to my 6 to get to 30? Well, I've multiplied it by 5. So I need to do exactly the same with my numerator at the top. So 4 lots of 5 or 5 lots of 4 are 20. Then how did I get from my 5 down to 30? Well, I multiplied it by 6. I need to do exactly the same with my numerator. So one lot of six or six lots of one are six. And then we can look at adding these two numerators together, which of course will give us 26. And it's always out of 30. We'd never add the bottom denominators. So a final answer of 26 over 30, or in its simplest terms, 13 over 15, 13 fifteenths. And just to clarify how we add these fractions together, if we have 30 squares, like so, so we've got a 6 by 5 rectangle here, so that has an area of 30 squares. And if I take the first fraction here, which is 20 out of the 30, and I colour those in, so there's 5 coloured in, 10, 15, 20 out of 30, coloured in. And then I look at the second fraction, which is 6 out of 30. So if I colour another 6 of the squares in, like so, you can clearly see that we've, we have 4 empty. So altogether, 26 out of the 30 
have been shaded in and coloured in when we add them together. And on to the last question, question three, which is one and one third, and we're going to add a quarter to it. And today I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. Okay, so the first way, we're just going to look at the fraction part of the question. So that's one third, and we're going to add a quarter to it. So exactly the same as we did on previous questions, we're going to find a common denominator for these two numbers. So if you multiply them, 3 times 4 is 12, so that becomes our new common denominator. I've multiplied the 3 by 4 to get the 12 here. So we need to do the same with the numerator. So 4 lots of 1 are 4. Here I've multiplied the 4 by 3 to get our 12 down here. So I do the same with its numerator. So 1 lot of 3 or 3 lots of 1 are 3. I'm going to add them together to get an answer of 7 over 12. Now, because we've also got this whole number here, we need to bring that down. So we've got one whole plus that 7 twelfths to give us a final answer of 1 and 7 over 12, 7 twelfths. And now we can look at the second way to calculate question three, which is one and one third again. And we're going to add it to a quarter. Now this time we can convert this mixed number. It's mixed number because we have a whole number and a fraction remainder put together. So we call it a mixed number. And we can convert this into a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction is the correct word, which is going to be four over three. Okay, the way we do this, is this one here is the same as saying three thirds, three out of three, that's a whole pizza or cake. And we've got the additional one third here, so all together it gives us those four thirds here. And we're going to add a quarter to it, that just comes straight down. And exactly the same as before, this part's the same. We're going to multiply these to get our new common denominator. And we're going to have a look at what we've multiplied our denominators by. So the 3 was times by 4. Do the same with the top, so it becomes 16. And as you can see, this is still an improper fraction, top heavy. We've multiplied the 4 by 3 to get 12. And we're going to do the same with the numerator at the top, which gives us 3. We're going to add them together, which gives us a grand total of 19 over 12. And what we can do is we can convert that back into a mixed number. So that's 19 divided by 12. We can fit 112 into 19. And then there's 7 of those twelfths left over. Doesn't matter which way we do it, we get the same answer. I hope you'll find one of them very, very, very useful, maybe even both. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.